Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and I'm going to give you a quick tip today about freezing tracks in Cubase. Freezing tracks is a really useful feature to keep your computer from being bogged down with audio processing, especially when you're using a lot of plugins on a project as I am right now. You can see I've got a lot of different delay plugins open and I'm not really playing around with these too much right now. I just kind of opened them up to show you a little bit of what I'm talking about here. Uh, because as I start to open a lot, of pro a lot of plugins on a project, I can really start to bog down my computer and this can get pretty heavy when I start to bring in more tracks and do a lot more recording. So this is where freezing tracks is really useful. If you find that your session is starting to bog down, get a little bit slow, and uh, things like that, then one of the best options that you have accessible to you is to freeze your track. And this is really easy, easy to use in Cubase. I'm going to notice in the track inspector right here that you've got this little snowflake looking button. And when you mouse over it, it says freeze audio channel. If we click on this, we're going to get the freeze channel options box. You really don't need to make any major changes here. You can set a tail for the freeze, uh, which can sometimes be useful just to make sure that your freezed audio track is as close to your regular audio track as possible. But after you've made that change, all you need to do is click on OK. And then Cubase is going to think for a little bit. And what Cubase is doing right now is it's creating a temporary mixed down audio file of the track that you are freezing, which is going to be representative of all the effects which you have instantiated on this track and any other changes which you have made to the track. So what this means now is that I've frozen the track and you're going to notice all my plugin windows went away. That's because if I take a look at the channel settings for this track that I'm working with, you're going to notice all my VST plugins are grayed out. If I click on them, I can't bring up their interfaces. That's because I can't make any changes to VST plugins when a track is frozen. It's because the track is frozen, and again, I have a temporary bounce, bounced down version of this track now being referenced by Cubase for my general mixing. So I won't be able to make any changes, but Cubase will not be dedicating the extra processing power to those real-time audio plugins, yet I will still be able to get the same sound which I had previous to freezing the track. So in this case, I had a lot of delays going on. You can see what that sounds like. And again, because there's not real-time processing here, you may notice that uh, you're not going to hear some of the trailing off of delays and various effects like that. But that's okay, because you don't need to make use of freezing for the entirety of your session. You just want to freeze a track in order to kind of keep it referenced while you work on other tracks and allow for Cubase to not dedicate all of that computing power to those real-time plugins. When you're done, of course, you can simply unfreeze the track. And when you do that, Cubase is going to ask you if you're sure you want to unfreeze the channel, and it'll tell you that it's going to delete the freeze files. Now, you can keep those if you want, or you can simply unfreeze the track. Generally, you'll probably just want to unfreeze the track, and now it will go back to normal, and you'll be able to open up all of your plugins as they were just before you decide to freeze your track. So again, this is really useful to free up computing power for your Cubase session, especially in large sessions, which make use of a lot of real-time plugins. So I hope that this has been useful to you guys. As always, please keep in touch with me. My email is brian at obedia.com. Find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor and on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obediatutor. Please give me a call. Work one-on-one -on -one with me. Go beyond the tutorial and find out how I can help you to tame your technology, which is what we do best here at Obedia. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next tutorial. Take care.